Hey there everyone, how's it going? It's Rob. As we dive into week two, we're going to start to talk about the components that are involved in putting together a formal classroom behavior management plan. We'll talk a lot about what those different components are, and then you're going to have the opportunity to, to go through a guided exercise that's going to result in you creating your own classroom management plan, uh, following those steps, including all those components that are critical in, uh, in making a plan that will work for your classroom. Uh, after uh, you do that, you're gonna dive into some specific case studies of, uh, of students that are having some behavioral difficulty um, and walk through a number of different strategies that you might be able to use uh, to, uh, um, to see some effective results. It's gonna force you to really think critically about what students are presenting with, uh, as well as what the different strategies are and how they might map onto the students that you're working with to come up with something that's most appropriate and most likely to be effective. So looking forward to, uh, to another great week here.